In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for your constant love and care. I pray that we are all able to grow in our relationship with you, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hi friends, my name is Caitlin. Today we're going to hear about our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. We find today's gospel in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. Let us begin. Jesus said to his disciples, When the man of, Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come you, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, say, Amen, I say to you. What you did not do for me, for those of the least ones, you did not do for me. And those, and those will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteousness of eternal life. Today, on the Feast of Christ the King, we read that a ruler or leader should be like a shepherd. The leader is to care for the, all the people and protect them. And a wise and loving ruler knows what is important for the people is equally important for their leader. In today's gospel, the ruler is also a judge. At the last judgment, Christ is pictured as the king who judges the nations. How does he judge? On the basis of care and con concern for the needy, did you notice in the gospel that all the people were surprised at the king's answer to their questions? How blessed are we to have Jesus to tell us what they did not seem to know, that we, what we do for others, we do to him, and that we will be judged on our works of justice and mercy. Take a moment to think about these works that, meant, that gospel mentions, as Christ to reign and rule in your heart and in the whole world. Since we just reflected on this reading, I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Go ahead and pause after each question to discuss your response with your parents. In this reading, what criteria does the ruler or judge use to separate the good and evil ones? List the actions called works of mercy. They are rewarded in this story. List the actions that are not rewarded. Those who were brought into the kingdom and those who were excluded asked the same question. What was the question and what was the answer? We're going to close with a final prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, thank you for letting us come together to read and reflect on this gospel. I pray that we were able to live through you today and through this reading. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bye, guys.